I forgot my thermosel and I'm getting chewed up. I don't know if you can see all the mosquitoes, but that's the difference between having a thermosel and not having a thermosel. That bear came right up, about 30 yards. I was just starting to pull the trigger. The bear went off in the brush. That was awesome. Where they called in this bear that came out in the road, Jim was wearing a black shirt, and I'm pretty sure that bear thought Jim was another bear. It came stomping up and kind of showing some posture, and then it turned broadside, and Jim shot that bear with his bow. Thanks to Clint, thanks to Fred, we got a great first bear down on the ground. And I'm tickled with him. Thanks, man. I hey, appreciate great, it. Great bear. Good job, Jonathan. Well, the very next day, me and Clint went out. We spotted a bear. It went up in the brush, and Clint started calling on the Fox Pro right behind me. We're sitting there watching the brush. As I said, your, your anticipation, I mean, your adrenaline level is just going nuts because you're looking almost 360. This bear could pop out right in front of you. It could start charging you. You could have a totally different bear come in behind you. So everybody's wired. We're looking all over the place and all of a sudden this bear pops out right in front of us. This bear's close. I don't know how close, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be the record for the week. I know it's a great shot. The bear takes a hit and disappears instantly in the thick brush. Was that awesome? Was that awesome? Holy smokes. 4570 Rossi lever action. And was that awesome? I mean, that bear came right out, right in front of us. You gotta love it. That was sweet. I'm gonna base it off, I'm gonna range them. I got my loop hold right here. That's what bear hunting, calling them in and be 12 yards. The bear was 12 yards. That's what hunting bears is all about up here in British Columbia with Clint at Kispiaks Valley Outfitters. Talk about an adrenaline rush. We're talking about bears right in front of you. Colin, Clint did an awesome job. Called that bear right to us. I mean, you see, it's just a beautiful, beautiful bear in prime shape, super thick thick coat and that's what's neat up here is these bears are thick and I think it's pretty impressive this bear didn't go what 10 yards max. yeah yeah 10 10 yards hit it right I think I probably either hard or double lungs right at the crease of the shoulder you should see the bear just react to the shot and it just made it over one log and died right here well not to be outdone the very next day Jonathan makes his stock on a bear got within about eh, 12 yards, 14 yards. All of a sudden the bear, the bear started coming towards us and it kind of happened kind of fast after that. Absolutely. I mean, he realized something was wrong. He came up, he started getting a little too close and that's when we took him. But you can see he's a beautiful bear. He's a nice boar. He's got thick, thick hide like all of these bears up here. They're not rubbed up. They're beautiful. Thermosel, need a thermosel hunting in British Columbia. It's the only way we can hunt in here. Congratulations. Hey man, thanks. Appreciate, Appreciate it. it. Yeah, thanks.